at this point, like you don't have to press your hair, girl. You don't have to do nothing. You could literally just wear this. Like that's what I be trying to tell people. When you get this, it's not a must. You have to press your hair. Like your hair, look like my hair is straight right now. Like girl, straight. I could do, I could literally part this. <laughs> like this is straight. I can comb this with no problem. Hey guys, it's your girl London and I am back with another video. And in today's video, obviously, you can see that your girl hair is not together, but we gonna get it right, okay? I know I've seen so many people asking me about this Revlon. So I was like, you know what? When I take out my hair, I'm gonna do a review on this. Y'all know I'm obsessed with my hot tools. I use that every single time. I don't even use my Paul Mitchell for my regular hair to dry it out because the hot tools is where it's at. Like it's, it's giving me two and one vibes, okay? This is how it looks, guys. I'm trying to see if the bottom the same way. Yes, it looked like the same type of bottom too. Okay, y'all, so this has settings on here. Same as the other one, it's saying uh, off, cool, low, and high. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna go ahead. I just bought a few of these things from Target today. So I'm gonna go in with this Shea Butter Hydrating Leave-In Conditioning Mist that I got from Target. And I did spray some of this in my hair already, but it wasn't a lot. It was just like to try to, you know, get the little squirter thing to act right. So when it was time for camera, it wasn't gonna stall up on me. So yeah, I'm going in that with that because that is a leave-in conditioner. Make sure y'all putting in a leave conditioner in your hair. And the next thing I got from Target was the As I Am. This is the Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. Now, honey, I wasn't even trying to get this. I seen a lady walk by and she picked this up and I picked it up. You see how that worked? That's just not even... <laughs> don't, don't shop around me because I might just get what you got, okay? Like, I might just be like, oh, well, they got it. It might work. But yeah, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna just try it out. When I seen it was As I Am, I already know their products. I just feel like they sometimes too expensive for no reason. So we finna see what it's doing, what it's giving. And I do have some heat serum from before on my hair as well. I usually put that on as soon as I get out the shower when I know I'm about to press out my hair. So I'm going in now y'all with the hemp. And this was the blowout spray. So I'm gonna use that. I actually really like this. I, I really like this. It protects your hair up to 392 degrees. So, all right. So just make sure all of that is in your hair and you're good to go. Then you wanna section off your hair before starting to do it. And yes, sis, Auntie bought her big comb. Don't worry, okay? So I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna put this on a low setting because I don't like to put it on too high. We'll get there when we get there. Like. I don't want to burn off my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna just let you know right now, the settings is very high, opposed to the hot tools, cause that was on cool, and that was high. I'm gonna put the setting on cool and see how that works. For me. I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, these bristles, aggressive. <laughs> uh, I know I have bristles on the other one, but it feel like these ones are very hard opposed to the ones on the hot tools because the way that just yanked my head, mm -mm. So that was on the cool setting. I didn't like it on the cool setting. It felt like it made my hair harder to dry. But like it made my hair more tangly on the cool setting versus when I just turned it to the heat setting. So the heat setting is great. Like that's that's doing what it was supposed to do. All right, so we're going on to the next section and let's just see how this progress. Make sure you're doing this section by section. Like, But I will say, obviously you can tell that my hair is very much straight and I didn't have to continue going through it too much. Like, like I said, that cool setting, it wasn't for me. Make sure you take this into two sections, part it, and then like work like that. So it's not too much hair to be doing at one time. And it's up to you. Sometimes I use my dimming brush 
to like you know get some of my curls detangled but in this case i don't feel like my hair is like tangled up so and i know when my hair is tangled because i can see it from the roots and i don't see that at all with this and it it probably is because i use my um scrubber in the shower when i wash my hair so when you guys are doing this make sure you go all the way to the to the end that's how you're gonna get to the heat set This hit them roots. Ooh, look at like, girl, look how fine them roots is right now. Wow, I'm very impressed. Okay, I ain't mad at you, Ravelon. Get getting them coins. The sis over here looking like she had a perm up in here. Like, what? Natural, what? But don't don't let this fool you because sis could revert back to that afro real quick, okay? Don't, don't. But yeah, y'all, this is giving very much like look at that i would i definitely like that at this one i feel like they both is no difference to me to them except for that cooling i'm not with the cooling system on this thing and the brushes was a little bit hard but i think the brushes are hard because it's brand spanking new and maybe you gotta break it in before i don't know girl but these brushes looking like the brushes on my brush my paddle brush and those brushes hurt a little bit so you guys can see right here Right now, you can see it. This is very thick, y'all. I want y'all to see this very thick. This is very fine over here. Like, I could part this, I could move around because I know people are like, oh, well, does it work on this hair? It says it work on all hair types, girl. All hair types. Ain't no discrimination. Everybody could get it. Anybody, okay? It's just heat in a cone. You got one, sis. So she got one, sis. So I got one. So it doesn't matter, you know? Everybody could get one. All right, so you could go ahead and just, you know, this right here is really good for separating your hair too. Go in with your dimming brush, brush it on out. And then you could go in with the heat. So when y'all see me going like this with my hands in front of the brushes, I'm just putting my hair into the bristles so that I can get a more pressed look. So that's why you'll see my hands like this because I'm teething it out and I'm putting it more so in the brushes. So, yeah. This is very much like, at this point, like you don't have to press your hair, girl. You don't have to do nothing. You could literally just wear this. Like, that's what I be trying to tell people. When you get this, it's not a must. You have to press your hair. Like your hair, look like my hair is straight right now. Like girl, straight. I could do, I could literally part this. <laughs> like this is straight. I can comb this with no problem. Like. At this point, you don't even have to even press this hair out. Like, if it was me, I do it all the time. Throw a hairband on, push it right back. Had this be me with my regular my regular blow dryer, this would be poofy in an afro right now. I'd be looking like a poodle. So, yes, period. If this thing is on sale for freaking Black Friday, sis, grab you one. Grab you two. Get one for your mama. Get one for your sister. Get one for your... Like, be generous. Get one for other people. Help them out. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm trying to put y'all up on game. To me, I feel like it doesn't matter which one you get. You could get this one or you could get the hot tubes. I feel like this is something you have to have in your cabinet with your hair products. Like, this is a must-have. Yeah, you might want to do a blow dryer for sometimes, like when you're doing your ponytails or something. But, baby, I'm not doing a blow dryer no more. I haven't used I haven't used my, my blow dryer to press out my hair since I got that hot tubes. Like... I'll use my blow dryer for like my ponytails or something like that. But when it comes to actually moisturizing, taking care of my hair, I will not be using no, no um, blow dryer, y'all. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Especially when this does the job. This all I be wanting. I just want to be able to go like this. 
and don't get snagged and whatever. Cause what I do is I'll brush, I'll go ahead, lay my baby hairs down, everything, and wear a cute little bun, and I'm good. I'm bun. I've been in the bun for a whole year. Like, I'm just letting y'all know. One thing I will tell y'all about this is when I go through to like pull it apart. I'm noticing that it sheds. So that's something that you might be thinking about. The Hot Tooth hasn't shredded anything as of right now. So this is like the third one that came off and that's like the little bristle things. So I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see the final look at this. Don't judge my split hands, okay? And you can see it is very, very straight, fine. You wanted to tackle it and get in there real straight. Like this part is super straight. This part eh, is all right. Cause I ain't, I wasn't in there hitting it, hitting it like that, but it's still good. but this is how it is right now. I had to go ahead and get the OG for y'all. <laughs> Here is my boo-boo. This is my hot tools. This is the new boo-boo. This is the Revlon. And like I said, they, they literally are kind of identical. It's crazy. Like they very much alike. It's like, what I do think is that no, it's really, it's just like, like almost identical. I feel like this one is a little bit bigger. So I know people have questions about the sound. Is it loud? Is it, you know, obnoxious, blah, blah, blah. The sound is just like any blow dryer. Unless you got a silent blow dryer, the sound is just like anyone. Like it's in the middle. It's not like, oh, it's blowing your eardrum off, but obviously it's gonna be some sound. And it's not like lightly, it's medium to me. Heat, yes. You could burn your forehead if you're not careful. You see me over here like this. So make sure you're, you know, putting your hand out, twisting it, getting away from your forehead so you don't burn yourself. But I feel like this is definitely, the, the Revlon is definitely, whoever, I don't even know who came out with it first, but whoever copied who, the dupe for the Hot Tools, okay? So if, if Hot Tools came out first, Revlon is the dupe of this and it's a great dupe. I have no problem. I'm gonna be using both of them. This probably won't, would go to my daughter because she does now. She does um, like wash her hair and stuff herself. So this will probably go to her and I'll teach her how to use it on her hair. But yeah, they, they both gonna be my babies because they both getting the job. They both did what needed to be done. They got the job done. Like that's all I could ever ask for. That's it. Like you want something that's gonna straighten your hair and also detangle it at the same time. And that's, that's, that's what this did. Like it understood the assignment and it slayed it. It had no problem doing what it needed to do. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until next time, treasure your family, treasure your time, and most importantly, treasure yourself. Peace.